Hi friends, today's video is dedicated to cyclones, differences between cyclones, hurricanes and typhoons. Recently, a cyclone named Tokte was developed in Arabian Sea. It caused very much destruction and disturbance in coastal regions. It was very saddening to see the destruction. Hope life comes to normal there. So let's get back to our topics. Our topic is what is cyclone and how it develops. So we have made a mini model of a cyclone over here. Now, what is a cyclone? Cyclone is a mass of air that has a low atmospheric column and winds are around it. Tropical cyclones are formed at warm water at the equator. Two important things to form cyclone are warm and moist air. Cyclone comes when the temperature of the water increases above 26 degrees celsius as the water temperature increases vapors are formed these vapors come in contact with cold air and condensation takes place forming clouds condensation releases latent heat into the atmosphere which makes the air below lighter and then a low atmospheric pressure column forms. Then the winds surround it. As the pressure decreases in the cyclone, the speed of the winds increases. A speed of a cyclone ranges up to 120 km to 220 km per hour. In northern hemisphere, the cyclone spins anticlockwise and in southern hemisphere the it spins clockwise. The eye of the cyclone is a circular area of geometric center. It is calm weather in the eye. The eye walls are made up of thunderstorms. Below of the thunderstorms there are these warm rain bands. Warm air comes from these rain bands and rotates around the cyclone. As the cool air goes from goes from these warm rain bands and out of the cyclone. So now let's see the differences between hurricanes, typhoons, and cyclones. Technically, they are all wind storms, but they are differentiated by where they form. Hurricanes, they form in Atlantic Ocean, typhoons in Pacific Ocean, and cyclones in tropical region. Thanks for watching and please do share with your friends and family and don't forget to like and subscribe.